Welcome back in guys, as always, Paladev, and this time we're going to be checking out the May ads for Game Pass. It looks like they've finally wrapped, so we're going to pull that up and see what the deal is. All right, guys, let's take this from the top. As usual, we'll be checking out uh, not only what was added, but uh, whether or not I might consider playing something or if I've even heard of it. So uh, looks like uh, both Galactic Air and Haunty were like just added um, within like the past day. So I don't know anything about these. Um, they look indie style. I mean, Galactic Air just at first glance looks a little bit like, uh, like, you know, looks like there might be an Asari going on there. Um, it actually looks like it could be kind of Astro's playroomy. I guess we can check out a trailer. Yeah, let's uh, let's assess a trailer here because I haven't heard of this one. Welcome, Director, to Galactica. Oh, Director. We specialize in the most important and humane of all industries, privatized healthcare. Faced with the <laughs> complex challenges this like of hospital a, building, this seems like a, a, a simulator. Yeah, I like, I like the Sims or theme park style thing. Servicing various organic oh needs my, and this, this actually is kind of a noisy game. I'm gonna have to, to make sure that she catches this video services, or watches this like trailer. Thing. Hiring and uh, managing staff from all nine corners of the galaxy and saving the <laughs> lives of as many patients as possible. But not that one. There will be plenty. Oh, not building, that one. Oh my god, yeah, this is uh, very pretty for your own mental This has reasons. a lot of uh, the same style to it with a little bit of theme park thrown in. Get a little Jurassic World Evolution vibe. Okay. Okay. We'll get around to treating a few patients. It's a challenging position, Director, but we hope to welcome All you right. to Galactic Air promptly. And together, oh save my. the galaxy. Dude, these, One these look like some time. pretty big areas that you can build. <laughs> that yeah, that would one. drive me insane, people puking on my floor. All right, and Galactic Air, okay, and a, a sim style. Um, Honestly, if I, I always like I'm trying to branch out with a lot of the games that I'm playing beyond just completing my backlog So on a game pass ad like this, I don't do a lot of sim style games So something like that is actually enticing galactic care. Keep it in your hip pocket gang All right, Let's move on to haunty which uh, Has the two eyes Nintendo Wii style um, this is another one I don't know about, so let's watch the trailer. Okay. Oh, that that art style's interesting. All right, it's it looks like it's gonna be a scary game. Oh, did I accidentally cue it to install? Well, my bad. Well, now we might actually try it. Ooh. See, at, at first when I saw the art style, I figured it might end up being like a Metroidvania, um, just because like a lot of indies are right now. And this might still be. Uh, oh man, that music's kind of vibey. I don't really know what to expect from this one. Oh, you control that, homie. So, um, kind of like a, a Mario Odyssey mechanic, you take control of uh, the enemies and wreak havoc, you're a giant whale. Yeah, guys, this is a, this is definitely a vibe, that's for sure, wow. Night sky. Okay, so it's just kind of talking about a, a bunch of uh, oh, different puzzles out in the stars. Ah! Eyeball. I come from Resident Evil, guys. You see that many eyeballs, you better get shooting. Oh. Well, the honestly, I've I've already kind of pointed it out, but the aesthetic, guys. Whew. 
very, very interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued just off of the trailer, and that's good. For a trailer to, to get you thinking like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Out now. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% on that one, but it looks really interesting. It sends out a vibe. Okay, the next one I am 100% sure on, guys. It finally came out. That's Hellblade Senua's Saga. Um, I've already got the game installed, so we'll just go ahead and watch the trailer. Um, yeah, this is uh, this has been one that, that we've been this. waiting for a while for. Uh, Senua's Saga. Um, I actually have a playthrough, my first ever playthrough coming up. Um, here, I believe next Here. month for uh, for Senua's sacrifice. So, uh, yeah, that that game was really cool. Uh, my God, man, it, they have pulled no punches nice with the uh, aesthetic of this or its prequel. I mean, I I expect Inked this is in-game footage. Inked in blood. Like. Like there might be some differences or well maybe not because you, you saw some frames drop there that's fine like Until as long as it's not unplayable you guys know how I am Fates away. yeah <laughs> oh a homie can come in and help you this time okay and the biggest thing that was appealing about um, Senua's Sacrifice for me were the uh, the rune puzzles. There were a bunch of them, and they just... It got you looking around the environment. The like, I hope there's more of that in Saga. All the lives inside me tell me to let go. The shadow will always Yo. hang over me. Man, this looks good. This, uh, of what's been added to Game Pass, this is definitely the first on my list. Uh, of course, once I beat it, y'all know the drill. I'll be putting a let's talk about this one. Like, I uh, I was late to the party on Cinema Sacrifice. Only, only beat it for the first time this year. All right, so combat and exploration. They're really emphasizing that in this trailer, which is what made the first one great, so. Alright, dude. Nice. Nice. I dig it. Alright. Senua Saga. Like I said, that one's already on my list, so no worries. Whew. It does look solid, though, guys. We're gonna have to jam it for sure. Okay, next ad was Immortals of Aveum. Uh, so let's see what this one's about. Oh, you know what? Okay, I remember this one. This was at, uh, one of the games, um, uh, events. I don't know if it was the Game Awards or what, but yeah, this is, uh, it's like Doom meets, meets wizardry. It, it, yes, like... I didn't realize this was that game. Guys, this is a me game. I will definitely be trying Immortals of Aveum. I, I love Doom 2016. I've been actually trying to chunk through Doom Eternal. I do think, personally, Eternal took a step back. But that game, that game looks really cool, Immortals of Aveum. Uh, not the Microsoft logo. That doesn't look cool at all. I'm just kidding. I don't care. <laughs> All right, let's check out um, Chance of Senar. There we go. It's launch trailer for this one. Looks like another indie one. Run disc. Ooh. Oh man, this is a. Uh, this is quite an art style here. Oh, wow, this, mechanically, this is interesting already, like, that's how you move, No, well, you're sneaking around. Oh, 
guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what kind of game this is. This is, uh, and, and that's not always a bad thing with, uh, with, you know, indie ads and stuff like that. If It looks like it's for sure got stealth elements, um, puzzle elements, there's a lot going on here. Okay. Man. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Journey. Like, alright. Chance of Sonar. I, I genuinely do not know what to think about that one. Like, yeah, oh man. There's, there was a lot going on. Uh, Gameplay wise. There was a lot going on. So, I don't know, man. I've, I've never heard of that. Um, uh, okay, uh, so Brothers has been out for a while, um, I, I haven't played it, but I know what it is, it's, uh, it's kind of this, uh, well, you control two characters and kind of go on a journey and stuff like that, where that's been out for a bit, probably similar to, like, Tomb Raider, um, uh, I'll probably pass this up, but I do know Little Kitty Big City is a new ad, um, uh, so why don't we check this out, because... This just looks adorable. Where I've got a cat running around my house. Uh, cat game review board. Uh-oh. Oh, all right. Is there a cat? <laughs> How much playtime does cat have? Oh God, there was a prompt to give him the zoomies. Yeah, we call that the skinwalker in our house uh, with our cat. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, infinite. Does cat have an appreciative audience? Oh, it doesn't look like that guy's mad. Oh, you know what? Actually, I did hear something about this. This is the uh, the same people who did Untitled Goose Game, if memory serves me right. And if so, it looks like it. It feels like it. You're just harassing people, and now you're getting in the trash. If it isn't the flying kid, ah! Oh my, guys, this is a vibe game. This is just like Untitled Goose Game. You're just, you're just being a cat. Does curiosity harm the cat in any way? Oh my. Oh, cosmetic cat ears. I'm I'm sold. I am sold on this one. This will definitely be getting added. Um, even from, like, you know me, I hunt for achievements as well, so there's got to be some fun ones to do in, uh, in the kitty game. <laughs> the little kitty big city. I forgot what it was called. Uh, but yeah, for sure. Let's, uh, let's cue that baby right up. Um, Kona 2 Room. I don't know why I didn't know there was a Kona 1. So I'm a little behind the eight ball In the here, year guys. Of 1970, a Let's chill see. Okay. Northern Quebec, Canada. A chill that echoed not from the seasonal blizzard, but from the mystery buried deep. Oh, look at that Some little kitty big city's already ready. It's like, bro, play me. Thought it was Ooh. something far more sinister. Well, now I kind of want to go find Kona 1. What? The room. Okay, you're out with sled dogs. It's like there's a dude with a gun. The icy wilderness and the creatures within it changed. Uncover the mystery. Oh, God. Ah! Guys, what in the heck is this game? This looks cool. Kona, Kona Broom. I'm gonna have to find the first one. I've never even heard of this series. That looked cool, man. You're out exploring. Uh, exploring. You're out exploring. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, and then you get attacked by a moose. Attacked by a moose. All right. Kona Two, bringing it. Like I said, Tomb Raider. We're we're familiar with Lara Croft. Um, have a nice death. I feel like, yeah, everyone, everyone needs to watch this. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a, the Grim Hello. Reaper. He's, he's playing on a freaking Xbox controller. Let's go. Where the recently deceased patiently wait and are sorted for the great beyond. And are sorted. We believe in discipline. Okay, these indie games have so much character. They really do. Uh oh. Oh, the death clinic is in disarray. Oh, is that death's door? It's gotta be. Oh, death's elevator. Never mind. Oh, he can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what is going on here? Everyone is in love or starstruck. Oh! Dude, the pimp hand on the Reaper is the strongest. Oh god, you know what this version of the Reaper reminds me of is, uh... In Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh, this is where Sebastian went to work. <laughs> what is going on? Death Inc. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay. All right. So I was talking earlier. Okay, it's a roguelike. I was gonna say if it's a, if it's not a Metroidvania, it's gonna be a roguelike. Oh. I'm not very good at roguelikes, but I mean, one where you play is the Grim Reaper. I mean, how can you pass that up on even just a try, guys? Huh? Look at all that paperwork. <laughs> all right, have a nice death. Very cool, very cool. Oh my God. <laughs> like I said, some of these indie games have so much character to them. We're going to check out the Rewinder. Oh, this one does not have a trailer, sadly. But we can see a little bit. Um, Screenshot-wise, Mr. Fan Spirit Warden. Okay, it's kind of just aesthetically and the fact that it's looking like a side-scroller. It's giving me kind of Terraria or um, Spiritfarer vibes. Um, but yeah, I would have naturally you guys know I would love to see a trailer uh, just to see You know, is, is this something that that I'd be interested in like? Um, I had no idea I'd be interested in uh, in Wonder Song for example uh, until I played it and The last recent ad here is going to be another crabs treasure. This one is already ready to go because I know what this is. This is a Souls-like where you play as a crab and it looks great. I just haven't started it yet. So this is this is gonna be a great finish for the video. Um, I, okay, so I'm not huge on Souls-likes, you guys. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not good at them. The, the only one that I got far in, completed, and in this case, I did platinum it because I fell in love with it. It was Elden Ring. Uh, but this is one I can get behind. Like the Pinocchio one, I, you know, it, it was all right. I was getting destroyed, of course, because it's a Souls-like. Uh, but oh, yeah. the vibe wasn't getting me there. This vibe here. Be gone, little hermit. I tire of you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Cross the polluted ocean. Like, it it just looks so great. Of all the uh, of all the things to make into a souls like, we chose this game. Like, or we chose like this world. Like, and you're running around with trash defending your booty with trash like there, there's a spam container obviously he's wearing a can in the ad like there is fun to be had despite this one being a souls game so i am that one's already installed and ready to go on my drive so i will definitely be checking that out all right guys that that's gonna wrap it though um for these game pass ads hopefully you saw through trailers or the screenshots um 
something that you might be interested in myself of course hellblades looking at me um that immortals of am and then of course finishing out um uh, with another crab's treasure like those three are definitely at the front but i do like to check and uh and see what's out there especially like uh, as i mentioned with trailers where it's like hmm this is a little out of my comfort zone, so maybe I will try the Galactic Sims game, like, um, just to kind of see how things pan out. But as always, guys, um, I'm going to leave this one here, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, everyone. As always, if you like this one, well, drop a like, <laughs> subscribe, and tag that bell so that you don't miss out on the next one. Have a good one, guys.